Cadillac the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north, got Diego. Hey, nail babes. Welcome back. I'm coming today with a freestyle. I did not get to post a video last week. I'm trying to stay more consistent. But I'm back with another nail tutorial. This is one of my birthday nail girls. She comes on her birthdays, y'all. So she can get her super long nails. She, the first time she came, she got some extremely long nails. But we went a little bit shorter this time. She didn't even have any like special requests or anything. I just asked her for her, her color choices. She chose nude and white and she just let me go ahead and freestyle. She also said that she wanted this to be a tourist themed set. She wanted a tourist logo. She also wanted the word tourist written out on the other hand. So that's what we're going for today. So starting off with the freestyle, I just started off with the ring fingers and I applied some top coat. Usually I use base coat for this, but I kind of like how it turned out with the top coat. It's spread, but not too much. So I kind of went in and did kind of like a crock print and then I wanted to add something extra. So I went in with some little dots to give it a different effect. Definitely didn't know what I was going for. I was just placing the dots randomly all over the nail. And I kind of switched it up for the other fingers that I did too. I kind of did the same thing on the other hand, but just it didn't really matter where I placed my lines or my stripes or my dots. I just kind of, you know, just freestyled it, just went with it. I've already added the hydrator and I'm also going in with the primer. I'm using Mia Secret for both. I don't do reverse Frenches often, so I decided to go ahead and give it a try again and try to do like a little reverse French on both the pinkies. I'm using pretty small beads of acrylic and I'm allowing the acrylic to dry on my brush so that the acrylic doesn't run all over the place while I'm trying to create this fringe.
Both middle fingers is where I'm going to be adding the Taurus designs on each hand. So I'm just going for a full cover nude. I'm gonna be doing a nude to white ombre. So I'm starting off with the white first. I'm going to wipe it up, just use a light hand and stroke the acrylic upward and then bring it down. I'm also gonna go in with the nude acrylic while the white is still wet for the best ombre effect. I am 
going to go in and encapsulate all these nails. So on the thumb, I'm going to be encapsulating this ombre with clear and I will be building up the rest of the nails and encapsulating those as well. I'm only going to be showing the process for one hand in this video. So right now I'm just going ahead and cleaning up my French. I'm using an 80-80 grit hand file just to make sure the French is the right shape before I go in with my second acrylic color. When applying my second acrylic color, I'm making sure that I'm getting all the negative space. So pushing the acrylic up as far as it can possibly go to make sure that I don't lose any of this white once it's time to file. For the ring and index finger, I chose to go with a more pink shade. It's a lighter version of a nude color, just to make sure that I don't cover any of the previously painted designs.
As you can see, I picked up a very large bead of acrylic for this index finger. But I'm gonna show you how I fixed it. I chose to just <laughs> keep it going. I just scraped off some of that acrylic while it was still wet and then I blended it down as normal. Now I'm just gonna encapsulate these nails and shape them. When encapsulating, I try to use a fairly large bead of acrylic just to make sure it gets all the way down to the bottom. And I'm also tilting the fingers downward so that gravity can help me. <laughs> Sorry, I realized that I did not show, I didn't even record the first half of the shaping process, but all I did was use the 8080 grit hand file and I went all the way across the entire surface of the nail to um, until it was completely white to make sure that there weren't any lumps and bumps in the nails at all. And then I'm just going in with the panna bit, the five in one drill bit and I am sealing the cuticles. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit out of frame here. Okay, it's fixed. I've shaped and buffed these nails and this is what they're looking like. I didn't want this video to be too long, but I did show snippets of 
some of the designs that I did. I added some bling on these nails. I drew a Taurus logo on the middle finger, some crosses or X's on the pinkies and thumbs, and I blinged out her Taurus um, zodiac symbol. I also wrote the word Taurus on this hand. And now I'm just applying some cuticle oil and this was the finished result. Let me know if you like these nails. Leave a like for me if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and hit the bell for more content. And I'll catch you in the next one. See y'all. Capital like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. <laughs>